Hi guys, Marvin Edward here, AKA The Flower Guy, and I'd like to welcome you back to my YouTube channel where today we'll be discussing and designing the simple floral crown. Now, if live events were happening as normal, a lot of you would be leaving the first weekend of Coachella and a lot of you would be preparing or gearing up for that second weekend. So today, my assistant, I don't even have a name for her. I know what name you're thinking. I know exactly which name you're thinking. Ethel. So, today, Ethel and I are going to be designing a simple floral crown that you could use for your home Coachellas or rewatching or reliving some of the Coachellas from past years. So, without any further chit chat and discussion, let's talk about the amazing flowers and supplies that we're going to be using to create today's simple design. Okay, y'all. Let's talk some flowers. So today we're gonna to be using some beautiful, sexy roses. These amazing white, crisp calla lilies. The most elegant seeded eucalyptus that you'll ever see. Some green pom-poms to drop in there, here and there. And yes, we're back again with the carnations. Don't get it twisted. I said I love them. And we got two. We got two kinds. Two kinds. This beautiful chamomile that you guys are going to want to make some chamomile tea with. And this amazing King Protea. Ugh, amazing. Now, let's get into our supplies for today. We're going to be using this beautiful rustic wired twine. Get into it. It, ugh. It's, we'll just put it back together and we'll talk about that later. We are going to be using our floral scissors, an essential for floral design. We're also going to be using our floral wire that is versatile and can be used for so many things. We'll get into that a little bit later. Oh, and we have to use our snippity snip snips today to get in there and snip. Snip. Lastly, our floral tape. This is a godsend for floral design. I will explain how this works later, guys. But that's it. Let's get into our design. Okay, guys, so now that we know all the flowers and all the supplies that we're going to be using, let's start off with the base of our floral crown, which is basically using our rustic wired twine. This comes in many different colors, many different sizes. It's beautiful, it's light, it's dark, but I love to use it for the base of my crown because it's sturdy and it actually looks good. So what we're going to do is measure your head. I would say about two times around, but you know, I kind of know how big my uh, head is. Um, under this hat, I totally have a five head, so pay me no mind, like a little Tyra Banks number. But basically, <laughs> I pull this all the way out and measure it out. So I think that's about right. That kind of works there. So what we're going to use is use our snips, and we're going to snip it right at the end when you're good to go. Pretty mm -hmm. easy. Now that we have our wire, what I love to do is double it up, and reinforce it, make it heavier, make it thicker, make it work a little bit more for you. All right. Put that in it just like that. Now at the ends of the wires, I love to use or double up so I can make a little bit of a loop. And I put that loop right there. And I do the same thing on the other end. Boom. And be very, very careful with this wire because clearly I have a little bit of a boo-boo from um, 
recording this before. Uh, so once you got that wire in there, I like to take a little bit of extra wire and then reinforce those little loops on the end. Gives it a nice little elegant look, a little good feel for it. Wrap that around like so. Awesome. And what you wanna do is do the same thing on the other end. So grab a little bit more of that twine. I actually like this twine a lot. I didn't expect it to be uh, this nice looking. All right, do the same thing on this side as well. Wrap this around a couple times. Again, watch that wire. It will stick you. All right, so now that we have our, uh, our doubled up wire, what we're going to do is kind of twist it. You want to twist this to make sure that we reinforce it a bit more. It becomes a little bit more sturdy once it's twisted together. And this turns out to be um, a pretty simple base for our design. Look at that. Now, now that we have it straight, it can be molded to your head. So what I like to kind of do is just shape it out like this really quickly. And I like to keep that back portion open because if you've created your wire a little bit too short, or a little bit too big, or once the flowers get on there and it fills out a little bit differently, you can actually adjust it to your head as needed. So this kind of fits like that. Yeah, something like that. It'll work. All right, so now let's get into how we arrange our flowers on this piece of crown here, or on this uh, foundation for our crown. Let's get into that. All right, so for this portion, we're gonna break out our floral clips or snips. We're going to break out this amazing stuff that's called floral tape. This stuff is a godsend for floral design and floral arrangements. So the secret thing about this tape is that as it stretches, the adhesive activates and it tightens up the flowers or wraps the flowers um, and it keeps them sturdy and keeps them together and it'll keep them together all day long. So let's start out with some bunches of flowers or what I like to do for the floral crown is create mini bouquets before we assemble them on our base. This is our seeded eucalyptus, which is so beautiful. I love, love using seeded eucalyptus. It's elegant, it's sexy, it does everything that you want it to do, and it's everything that you need it to be. So we're going to start off with a little bit of that. Ethel, if you don't mind, hold that right there. All right, so we'll start off with some seeded eucalyptus, and then we'll also throw a little bit of a rose in there. Uh, what I'm doing right now is kind of pulling off the guard petals, and these kind of protect the inner petals from any damage or anything like that, you know? Flowers are living things. So I'm going to make it pretty, just like that. Now, if you want to kind of open up your roses a little bit, they're a little, a little closed. These are uh, smaller, so what we do is just <laughs> give them a little blow. They pop open, easy, breezy, peasy, all right? So we're gonna start arranging, put that in there. Now we got some chamomile over here. I'm gonna add that chamomile in there because I love chamomile. It is so beautiful. It's a happy flower, it's a happy plant. It looks great. Look like small little daisies, don't they? Beautiful. All right, so let's add that in there. And then I like to add these little tidbits in there. Bam! That up in there, get that going. Throw a little bit of our mini carnations. I know, listen, I love carnations, y'all. I can't, I can't lie. Like, I, like in my last video, I told you a lot of people associate them with like funerals or or lame flowers, but I love them. Like I said before, they are just resilient, beautiful, and they just they pop in every way imaginable. All right, and we're going to throw a little calla lily in here. Give it some color. Now, like I said, with this floral tape, it's amazing. So watch how this is done. What you want to do is take it, give it a little, little stretch there, put it around your flowers, and then just wrap. 
wrap and stretch, wrap and see how it does. It just sticks together. Like what the heck? Who created this? Who designed this? I need to look this up. So boom, you have your first floral bouquet or mini bouquet that you're going to be using for your headpiece. Now let's design a little bit more. I like to make sure it's nice and filled up and nice and bright. Let's throw in this amazing King Protea. Look at this. This is like, hello Seymour. Y'all remember, um, what's it called? What was that movie? Little Shop of Horrors? Oh my gosh. I think that probably might have been when I fell in love with flowers because that thing was the bomb. As ugly and as scary as it was, that ugly flower or plant or whatever it was, it was beautiful to me. So we're gonna use that there and add this into our floral arrangement in some way, somehow, and uh, make that happen. And you know, you guys, you guys were so amazing last time, you know, letting me know about all the things that I could do. I got so many emails, I got so many calls saying, oh Marvin, you should do this, or you should try that, or you know, this is what I would love to see. Thank you so much for all your comments. I truly appreciate them, and I would like you to keep them coming because I love it. Love it truly. And again with the carnation. Boom. Designing flowers is really involved. You need to use all of your body, your mouth, your hands, your teeth. Sometimes you just gotta get crazy and bite stuff off when you don't have <laughs> anything else to use. So again, this floral tape is just amazing. I will put a description in the description box of where I usually get it. It's very simple, it can be found all over the place um, and it's really easy to use. All right, so give me a second. We will design a few more of these floral bouquets or these small floral bouquets before we adhere them to our floral crown. Okay guys, so now that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, mini bouquets, while wow, we just created one big bouquet, we are gonna chop these down so that they can fit around the base of our crown. Ethel, I'd like to crown the base back, please. Now that we have our pile of miniature bouquets and our floral base, or our floral, floral crowned base, we're going to get assembling these little bouquets onto this base. All right, let's introduce our floral wire. This is basically the same thing as this, but without the coating. And this wire is probably a, a lower gauge. It's a little bit thinner um, so that you can use to wrap all of your um, bouquets onto it. So let's start by taking one of our first bouquets here and finding a great spot on this base to add the flowers. We're gonna cut off a little bit of this wire here using our quick little snips. Easy to slip. You can probably do this with some scissors, um, cutting this off, but I just like to use my floral snips because I'm fancy. All right. And just like that floral tape, we're going to just wire this around. It doesn't stick like the floral tape, but it works. Put that there, perfect. And then basically what you do is just continue all the way around the, the headpiece and make sure that you got this all evened out into the spots that you wanna have it at. All right guys, so now we are back finishing up some last minute additions to our floral crown. It is looking heavy, it is feeling full. Um, I know you guys are getting that front view over there. I am working with this back view, just trying to tighten up the wires so that no one gets stabbed in the head when they actually put this piece on because it is, like I said, heavy boot, okay? It is heavy. So I am going to just finish up some last minute things here and then I'll just, yes? Oh. Miss Ethel would like to be the, um, 
the model for this here design. So what we'll do is we'll finish this up and then we'll show you guys what's happening and what's going on. So thank you very much for bearing with me through this design process. I hope that you like it. Next up, Miss Ethel sporting our floral crown. So our model slash assistant, Miss Ethel, wanted to put this crown on and she wanted to don it and make sure that she would be beautiful in it and make sure that it actually worked. So we're gonna spin her around and then spin her back so that you guys can get a full look. Don't pay attention to the back of her head now. She's not fully finished here, so don't worry about it, okay? All right, Miss Ethel, are you ready? I think we are ready, okay? Let's bring our arrangement here. I see there's a few additional parts that I'll have to fix up when we're done, but Miss Ethel, Miss Ethel, you're looking good. You're looking good. All right, guys, so here we are with our finished floral crown donned by Miss Ethel. She's amazing, she's beautiful, she's big, she's gorgeous. She is floralty in all ways. So with that being said, guys, if you're out for brunch this fall, social distancing, of course, make yourself a floral crown, adorn yourself with the energy of flowers, adorn yourself with the elegance of flowers, adorn yourself with just the beauty and the pure joy of flowers and have some fun with it. So speaking of having fun, we love to pair our final designs with a wine or any cocktail or drink that we think would go well with the particular design. And for this, Ethel, if you don't mind. And for this episode, we are pairing this design with a sparkling rosé from California. It's an Eponina. I'll definitely put the description in the box below. California, Coachella, Floral Crown, it all goes together. You can't beat it. So make sure that when you guys are out enjoying yourself, grab some of this sparkling rosé or any of your choosing. I'll leave the description in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the floral crown. Enjoy your fall and all the days that are to come. Ugh. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take this and enjoy this for the rest of the day with a splash of orange juice to create a mimosa. <laughs> but you guys enjoy too. Thanks again for joining me on The Flower Guy. Until next time, peace.